Welcome back. Make sure you grab that jacket as you head out the door to work today because it's pretty chilly outside. Rusty and Uigo called in with 45 degrees. Main Memorial Elementary School reading 44. Bill and Whitney Point is the cool spot around the region this morning. 39 degrees, 42 degrees up at the Green Airport and 42 degrees also at the Binghamton Airport. It's going to be a nice day because those temperatures are going to stay pretty cool. The dew points are going to stay pretty cool. And most of the clouds that we saw last night and into this morning a little bit are pushing out. You can see there are just a couple of fair weather clouds around New York State right now. Maybe a couple pushing up from the south. This is all left over from that cold front that passed through yesterday. But I do think that for the most part, we are going to see a good amount of sun today. It'll be a mix of sun and clouds, especially uh, this morning. We will see probably more clouds than sun, but it will make for a nice sunrise because that sunlight will be reflecting off the clouds, make that nice blue, pink, orange sky out there. And then as we head through the afternoon, I do think, think we'll see a nice amount of sun. And luckily, none of these clouds are making any rain. We are seeing a dry morning, and it's going to stay dry for the majority of the, or for the entire day today and also the entire day tomorrow so we're in good shape as far as that goes it's all because of this high pressure system which is currently right over the Virginia's right now right over Washington DC and that's bringing some uh, some nice weather to pretty much the entire Northeast and as we head through the day today and also tomorrow and into tomorrow night this high pressure system is going to start pushing off the coast and bring with it some uh, warm moist air from, uh, down from the south and southwest. So we will start warming up just a little bit as we head through the day on Thursday. It's going to be cooler. It's going to be seasonably mild, we'll call it. Temperatures in the, in the mid-70s or so as this clockwise flow around the high starts coming up from the south as opposed to uh, winds from the northwest that we're seeing today. But what we're watching very closely is this guy off to the west. It's currently getting its act together way off in the west over on the, uh, on the east side of the Rockies. And we are seeing that it's going to be a pretty big... Uh, a cold front with some possibly strong to severe thunderstorms that will pass through on Friday afternoon into Friday evening. But before that, as you can see here, there's a big pocket of warm air that's ahead of this uh, that's ahead of this system right under this warm front. We call it the warm sector because basically it's a big pocket of, uh, of warmer conditions, and that's going to be coming toward us on Friday. And the combination of the high pressure system uh, bringing up some warm air from the south and this big pocket of warm air will give us temperatures in the 90s possibly as we head to the day on Friday. So definitely different than what we're seeing this morning. Chilly conditions and a high temperature of 42 degrees. That cool breeze out of the northwest, keeping things nice and chilly this morning, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Mix of sun and clouds through the midday and also for your ride home, probably more sun than clouds as we head through the day uh, today. And cooler than what we've saw, seen for the last couple of days, a high temperature of 64 at the airport, 67 degrees in the valleys. A similar night to what we saw last night tonight, mostly clear skies with a low temperature of 46 at the airport, 43 in the valleys. And here's a look at the seven-day. As I said, Thursday, a nice day as that high pressure system stays in control and it will be warming up a little bit tomorrow, so it's definitely going to be a nice day. Get out there and enjoy today and tomorrow because it's going to be very nice, lots of sun and not being too hot. So it's going to be two almost picture perfect days, at least for at least for people who like sun, a lot of sh sunshine and a decent comfortable temperatures. Uh, so on Friday, as I said, very hot, a high temperature of 90 degrees in the valleys, probably not that hot at the uh, at the airport and up on the hills, but we will see some possibly strong to severe thunderstorms pass through on Friday afternoon. But then after that cold front passes through, look at that. Things are going to clear out nicely for Saturday and Sunday and cool off as well. Time now to take a look at today's My Weather Art winner. Today's winner is Zaria El Ansari of uh, Owego. And Zaria drew a picture called The Tornado is Coming. And luckily, no tornadoes or thunderstorms or none of that in the forecast for us. Uh, if you want to get on this contest, you can uh, go to our website, newschannel34.com, for all the information. All you have to do is draw a picture. If you're between the ages of 3 and 10, mail it to us at the station or send it to the Discovery Center. So, Bill, we were talking last half hour. You told me you put away your jacket, you were saying? For good. Uh, for good. Okay. I should have brought it back for spring. I yeah, yeah. Spring was today. I know, yeah. And it's going to be a little bit windy out there as well, so you might need it. You can just stay inside. Today. And then very hot uh, again on uh, on Thursday. On, on Friday, yeah. On Friday. The end, of, end of the day on Friday. You're not going to need that jacket. Okay, at the all. jacket the is gone forever. Okay, all, all right. right. I think it'll be good. Thanks, Jordan. Right after the break, we'll have yesterday's winning lottery numbers.